glasses. And there's no need to make a spectacle of yourself these days, for glasses have become more than just a means of seeing better, they can be a fashionable addition to anyone's features. make passes at girls who wear glasses now. It was not always so. At the British Optical Association's Museum in London are many examples of how glasses got their bad name, although these early spectacles are attractively designed. People whose profession involved much reading and writing soon realized the value of glasses. This pair is the only known example of the earliest form of spectacles. They date from the 14th century and are simply two lenses mounted in bone. It's thought that the clever Chinese first developed the idea of seeing aids. These are probably the earliest form of rimless glasses. It wasn't long before intricate decoration became a feature of both spectacles and their cases, and so closely associated were books and glasses to become that special books were produced. But these early spectacles were always handheld. Not until the 18th century were side pieces introduced. And since they were designed to go outside the wig, the wise man made sure that someone was around to tie them on. At this time, opera glasses became fashionable, and the optical industry came to the aid of husbands whose erring wives were interested in other men in the audience. They provided jealousy spy glasses, through which hubby could keep a sideways check on his wife while pretending to watch the stage. The 19th century was certainly a period of getting better views. For a man, the quizzer. For a woman, the spyglass set in the middle of a fan. But soon, spectacles became strictly functional. Lenses were of better quality and decoration was definitely out. Now, the ladies were definitely Victorian and held that too much light was bad for the eyes. Embroidered eye shades were the result. But the pick is now up to date and the picture is one of respectable modern misses. And like Polly Perkins, they're beautiful as butterflies. Thank you.